Hi there again. So at this point, probably you realize that I really like this cylinder case. Okay, we have been using it a lot. We did it in 2D, now in 3D. You see that we can do many things with this case. So now, now let's move to part three, okay, of this tutorial, okay, meshing the cylinder. And what are we going to do in this one? We already mastered the part of a castellation, a snapping, boundary layer. But now let's look at what happens if we have an STL with multiple surfaces? We haven't done this so far. So we have done so far a single STL, but also it is possible to, to use STL with different uh, surface defined. So you see here different colors represents a different region in the STL. And well, you can get the idea. So you have this STL and you access this region, you can have local control. So here you cannot have it. Here, you just select these regions and apply different refinements. So that is the advantage of doing that. So to do that, we can start from this single STL and there is a command called surface auto patch in OpenFun that can be used to split this. So it will use an angle, something like the one that we have used so far now in surface features and that stuff now. So you change that angle and you're going to extract extra more features. We're going to see that later. Okay, so the advantage is that we have local control and see that now you can access those patches at the beginning, you have the geometry section, you read your whole STL, but now also you access your, those suit surfaces that you have in STL. So this is the name of the region in the STL and then you give a local name. It can be the same name, I like to put different, but it's up to you. And then you, when you go in Castellate and Mesh Controls, see that you can access those names and give their different refinement values. So these names that you define there, okay, actually here the local surface patch is this name and this is the name that you use for the boundary layer mesh and you have it there denoted. Okay, so see that you have even more control. So the command to do that one, okay, so I'm going to show you is this one, surface auto patch, and you give a reference angle, something similar to the angle. So here, the larger the, this angle is, the more features that you capture, okay? And then when you split this mesh, you just move it into the concentric surface and you can work with that, that mesh, okay? So something interesting about these STL files, we're going to see that you have this keyword solid and using this keyword solid, you can divide, divide it in different regions, okay? So, so far, so if you open all the STLs that we have used so far, we have only one keyword solid. So, so in this case, we're going to have three keywords and actually you can do this manually, okay? You see, it's relatively easy to read these STL files, just look for STL and you will see that it's a very standard format and you can manipulate those files manually relatively easy. And this case also we're going to run finally. So this case is from scratch. Okay, we're going to run the simulation. We're going to see how to adjust the boundary files and then setting the boundary conditions in zero. Okay, so it should be a straightforward. So let's go in C3. And the first thing that I want to show you that you have this di directory geo and here you have geo is this, the original geometry single surface and here you have the geometry with multiple patches. So let me go into geo here, part of you. And if I open the single surface, see that this color is telling you that you have a single surface. When you open the other one, output, you will see different colors. So each color represents a different region. So now you're, you can have more local control in a snap. And to so show you these files, okay. Let me go here and open edit. So see that here is the famous keyword. So as you do a search, See that this keyword in this case appeared just one time, no? Solid and end solid, that's all. So you have one region, but if you open the other file, will be output. And as you search again here for solid, you will see that it appears several times with different names. So. This is the idea that now everything has been split and you can access those names. By the way, you can change the names. If you don't like patch one, just put your name. 
So this is the idea. So this is done. Remember, you can do this in several ways. If you want, you can program in Python, MATLAB, but open phone comes with a nice utility that serve to that. So let me, let me, ta -ta 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 -ta, let me go here that user, I forget the name. So, okay, now this is, this is the top of the case. So the instructions should be how to launch here. Okay, so see here that surface auto patch, read the geometry, the output, and this is a reference angle to capture those features, okay? So let me show you this in action, okay? So as you go here, see that it's going to find, okay, by the way, always remember that you have four and so each time when, I, when you see that I'm introducing new commands, you have there that phone info and then you have there okay so it will give you some instructions there so this one works like this so see that if i choose here a, a value too large 170 okay and if i open the file output stl Okay, so it found six. Okay, so let me use this probably grid minus R and output STL up. Uh, look for solids. Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm telling you, look for the word solid in this file and show me the line number. So I see that it's appeared this three times. So let's go and let me change this angle. Let me put a low, a low angle. So see that when you use a low angle, it didn't found any, any action. So basically, if you recall this slides that you have this angle that is finding now when you have chart angle. So it's something similar works, okay? So the, in this case, 90, it managed to, to, to find that discontinuity to dif between different surfaces. If you use two large values, it will detect many, see that it's too large. 180 will detect all the triangulation, okay? So blah, 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 let me put 175, so, okay. So in this case, okay, 100, see that you put values too large, and it will extract a lot of information. So use a personal experience experience here, 150 is more than enough. Okay, so in this case, you always can do the check and then you have these three patches and you know that you can access that information in a snappy X mesh, okay? So you can move that mesh to three surface, we already have it there. And now let's explore a snappy X mesh. So see that, rig the mesh and now access those patches. So this is how the name, the region is named in the STL. So you always should go to that STL you now and be sure how, how the names that were assigned. Okay, so always uh, is, is you use open phone utilities. Okay, let me go. Open phone utilities always will, will, will assign this patch zero, one, two, three, you now when you do this surface manipulation, okay? So this is the name of the STL and this is a local name. You can change it, okay? You can have the same or different ones, okay? I don't know why, but as I say, I always try to overcomplicate things. So ideally you should put the same name, okay? To avoid confusion. But this is the name that you use for surface refinement and this is the name that you are going to use for boundary layer. Be careful, okay? Uh, dun, 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 dun. Then here in refine surface, you see that you can access that patch and assign refinement. So see that in patch one, you use three, three, and patch two, four, four. So now you have more control, okay? So you can, you can do this end using part of you. Remember that you can do the selection, but maybe a little bit, you no, know, an overkill. Okay, so maybe it's better to do this, it is easier. And the rest is exactly the same. And then when it comes to boundary layer, see that 
you access the patches. So in this case, surface zero, one, and, and two. And all of them, you put three. So you can have different boundary, boundary layers, numbers, and parameters, okay? You can have also local control. So this is how you get more control, how, to, how you get those multiple, uh multiple regions. So you can get it from on shape, okay, you can extract the STLs and save it, and then you can glue everything together. It's not the best way to do it, but it works. Then there are some utilities that can do that merging automatically, okay? There are many ways, but I recommend you to use this tool that comes with open phone. it works fine. So at this point, we have covered a lot, many techniques I have shown you. So let's do the meshing, okay? Because this case, we're going to run the simulation, okay? So here we have the script to do the mesh is okay bam 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 okay i only run directory always you need to run the commands in the master directory now of your case okay so see that we're going to do the mesh and then do it you have here this create to to run the simulation using simple phone, okay? So this is a setup setting from scratch. But what is important that now here, I'm going to introduce you another utility phone dictionary that you can use to modify you now dictionaries. And in particular, see that we're modifying boundary just to change the name. Okay, again, remember phone info, and it's going to give you instructions, or you can use you now, uh, you can go and read the source code, okay? So you, we generate the mesh, everything is standard. And see here that what it's doing is renaming. We'll access this file, and then it will access the type of mean y, and it will set it to symmetry. Symmetry, okay, all these patches, it will set it to symmetry. Then I will use create patch. In this case, create patch, we're going to use it just to rename patches. So see that in the previous case, we use it to merge patches. Now you can also use it to rename it. So select min x and now call it inlet. And that's all. Okay, so we change to patches. So see that at the end of the day, we already have the mesh with the right patches, the names, okay, here in boundary. So if we open boundary, see that we have min y, min max y, min z. All these are symmetry. Surface zero, one, and two. Is wall is the one you can merge all this using a patch, as I showed you in the previous one. And then inlet and outlet is a patch. So how do we set boundary conditions? So you can look for those files anywhere you want. So here, let's say I will put it, and in this case, we're going to solve, going to solve for, we have a turbulence model, so see that we define for U, velocity, pressure, K, omega, nude, these are the, the closer equations of for the turbulence model that we're using in this case is the k omega and see that important very important that the same names that you have in the file boundary you should have it here so see inlet outlet surface so these are white cards that is going to access all this surface zero one three so see that inlet is a fixed value there is slash boundary condition newman boundary condition the outlet then the others mean x y are symmetry, these are constrained, okay? So you have a, a list in previous slides, I showed you that list that there are a few of them that are always constrained. And then for the for the wall where I have the boundary layer, you define it here as a wall, and then here fixed value zero, zero for velocity, you go for pressure, ah uh, yeah. Okay, here is the same. All these are always constrained. This is a zero gradient at the wall, extrapolation kind of. Uh, outlet fix the pressure level, inlet put a zero gradient, and here you have initial value. So here is relative pressure, by the way, and this is pressure divided density, remember? And then you go to k omega nu, related to the turbulent variables, pretty much the same. Symmetry, set up wall functions at the walls, Okay, so it's important that wall functions you can only use when this master patch, let's call it, uh, those surfaces are set to wall. Wall and wall. So see that you set up that, same for nudes. 
this one calculated null is computed from k and omega so that that's why it's compute calculated and omega in the same way so this number here when we address turbulence we're going to see how it's computed okay it's not a random value that we're pulling out of thin air now there is a logic how this value the initial value is computed and that's all okay so this is how, how you proceed to set up a case okay generate the mesh or convert the mesh always check this file boundary and be sure that you have the right names or you like those names and also the right patches type patch and then in zero just start to give values okay so also in a previous slide now in tutorial one i show you the most common patches but there are many 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 options so now that we have this we're ready to go so you have the run solver let's run this script and it's going to launch this simulation okay so you will see it. run solver and that's all you can run in parallel with no problem so let's wait for the end of this simulation probably let me open here a window and let me launch anaconda 3 python blood washer and i have log solver uh, uh, log simple fun and here you have to receive us your simulation running from scratch so every single case is exactly the same so as you see the critical part is the mesh so try to 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 understand well how a snappy x mesh work okay if you are not using a snap if you are using a commercial software it's even better okay you just need to convert it but always you need to check this file the the constant polymesh boundary and do some a few adjustments and you are ready to go so we run the case uh, just to show you a hundred iterations okay Let's launch Parafone to see what we have. Okay, and let me put a cop plane and a cop plane here. Okay, and if I go to the latest one here, here you go. So you can play and you have kind of a wake there and then it's going to start to oscillate. I just stop it. but. It makes sense, the solution. We, I don't see anything strange. I can add this new plane here. Okay, and you can visualize your mesh. So see that we added that boundary layer and we have also that local control that we haven't seen. So let me go here and let me select. You see that you have the three patches. And see that you have here, we choose here two three and four and you have there the effect okay so again take this case place around with the auctions okay and if you master these three cases i send you are you i think you are you are ready to go so thank you very much for your attention we still have one variant of this case that will be in 2d and then we move to sounds a little bit more complicated but anyways that's all thank you very much for your attention see you next time Bye.